welcome back to Fallout 4. <laughs> All right. Well, here I am in uh, Nuka World, newly accessed area, and uh, just got in here in the last episode by uh, running the gauntlet. And uh, now the next thing up is to talk to Porter Cage here and see what the what the deal is here with this overboss thing but well i know but it's part of the uh the lore and setup and whatnot for what's going on here so let's talk to this guy and i'm sure there's going to be more talking in here uh in this episode because of you know getting things established and setting things up and so on and by the way uh, today is a very hot day in excess of 90 degrees, so my air conditioner is running, and I, it's to the point where I'm not going to turn it off for recording, so hopefully Audacity will clean that up reasonably well, but in case you notice audio difficulties, that's the reason. So, let's talk to this nitwit. Gage. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control now that you're in charge. Okay, so I like the sound of that. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Yeah. Yeah, in other words, you're a behind-the-scenes guy. Gotcha. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless. We started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I don't doubt it. So, we can fix it, right? I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you didn't even have to like them, but you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Yeah. Well, advice. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. Uh -huh. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps. They'll listen to you. The pack. I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Yeah, all right, fine. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Tell them you mean business. All right. Then uh, I'll do it. We'll get that done. 
That is the next thing on the agenda. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. Yeah, be skippy. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. Yeah. So now it's time to talk about talk to the three gang bosses and uh, get them in gear all on the same page and let's see we got one over here okay Fizz Top Mountain which is evidently hollow oh boy Gage screws this up he knows we'll skin him alive Shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as she doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah. Hey, standing right here. You just get out of here and make sure the others get the message. Okay. I guess you're the twit I gotta talk to. You know that outfit is really stupid. You got your eyes covered. Hey, talk. So, talk to Nisha. You're Gage's little pet project. Take it easy there, Chicky. I'm no one's pet, really. Gage made Coulter, and now here we are. I'm just calling it as I see it. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this alive. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. Yeah. You're keeping the peace? You don't sound like the peacekeeping type. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators in pack breaking down my... Okay. One question, that helmet design, to me, has a serious flaw in it. How does she see out of that? Or does she have some kind of daredevil-like radar sense? No. We can take either of them one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. Well, rules needed. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination, but we spiced it up a bit. Yeah. Cakewalk. Do you call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Well, we'll do what I say. I'm going to do things my way, whether you approve or not. Oh, yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before yappity, you go off and do things yap. your way. You see, the disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although... I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. Uh-huh. Okay. This time for a threat, I think. I don't make promises. And you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. I'll see how this plays out. 
for now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Yeah, sure. And this is one source of repeatable quests, which is uh, some XP and some cash. I think it's like 250 caps and varying amounts of XP for each quest, and each gang leader will give you some of these quests. Okay, the next one... Let's see... Through here... And it should be right here at this intersection. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, here we go. The parlor. This is the... Oh, what the heck they are. Uh, the operators, yeah. Okay, well... Yo, talk. Hey well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Colta. Man was an idiot. It has all looked bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. Oh, I guess well. we take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Uh, well, bored. Regret, I guess. I didn't. I, want I, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Agreed. Not going to make much of a splash around Nuka World with an attitude like that. Oh well. Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. Yippee skippy. Can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Max. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang we should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Money. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of thieves. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain town. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Yeah, money is the goal, of course. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running yeah, the yeah, yeah. Place, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxious okay. in getting this place back to Get the talk over with. Space. Still got another one to do. Oi. Yippity yappity, never freaking shut up. And of course the fun part is, like I said, there is still one more to talk to. And this is uh the yip yap that runs the outfit called the pack. And the pack are absolutely a complete bunch of loons. Because, well, one of the traders saying they're animals is an understatement. Okay, here we are. Well, there's a clue right there. They're all dressed up as animals. Animal-based gladiatorial game, cute. Talk to Max's 
something? You said we ain't allowed to kill any of them, so tell me, did you have to wait a long line to see me? No. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. Do you need help finding your place here? No, I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can. Oh boy. I really wish to. Wait a minute. Settings. Audio. Turn the voice up a little bit, maybe, and get over the top. Uh, turn the effects down. That might do it. All right. Back. Save. I think that might be better. Okay. All right. Yo, idiot. Hey, now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. Oh, well. You'll do what I tell you anyway. You care about yourself. You'll do what I tell you. Ha! You might make it out of here alive after all. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Hey, I ain't here to be friends. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps, if not each other. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Uh -huh. Age says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. So you don't want to leave? You don't want to be over, boss. If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to. If you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black and that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Well, I got plans. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. But we thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. Uh huh. He was good in the beginning. Real good, but that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft, wanted to take stock in what we achieved. Okay, enough whining. I think you're a bunch of ungrateful children. Careful there, boss. We ain't ungrateful, just fed up. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there, but it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, uh -huh. but Gage put the brakes on that, got us together, and promised he'd find someone to deal with Colder. Well, as long as you're not plotting against me. I'm not Colter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look. Let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. You'll do like I tell you. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. Uh -huh. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. Okay, problem solver. 762 ammo, which I have not yet seen in the game. Large mag and all this good stuff. Okay. I think the paint job is, like, weird, but we'll One take it. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. Yeah, sure. I'll be sure to do that. Actually, I will. I will be running jobs for probably all three groups. Although, I, I gotta tell you, of the three, the one group that I think probably makes the most sense is the operators. They are the most 
reasonably sane individuals, well, sane-ish, uh, I still, I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them, but they're the ones that are closest to actually having their heads on straight. And besides which, there is a perk, ace operator. I want it. And that's one of the reasons I'm here in Nuka World. As far as the Raiders are concerned, my plan is to eventually slaughter every last one of them. But that's going to take time. Return to gaze. Well, well, with this other thing in mind, I want to stop in here in the market, check things out. Just have a look. I'm going to be dealing with Nuka World for quite a while. I anticipate being here until somewhere close to level 100. So, yeah. All right. Supplies of all kind for your journeys across the Commonwealth. I think this is the one. Yeah. Hey. Talk. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm uh, sure you'll do great. Yeah, right. Well, why are you congratulating me? Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That and, well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Uh, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Well... I might be interested in that. Well, I admit... I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I'll keep it in mind, but yeah. I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep it in mind. It's your call, boss. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies, too, if you're looking for those. Well, not right now. Not now. That's enough. Okay. I just wanted to stop and uh, get that option available in the quests and whatnot. And uh, now, after all of this... Uh, Chit chat and talk talk. It's time to head back to the Fizz Top Grill and talk to Gage again. Okay, here we are. Time to talk to Porter Gage again. Yo. Hey, Gage. The overboss returned. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything yeah. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. Uh, they're on board. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parts, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs. Uh -huh. That settles it. It's theirs for good. 
Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Ah, uh, okay. Well. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, it sure will. Be real nice to have this place all under our control. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. Uh, not right now, thanks. Uh, later, perhaps. Okay. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. Yeah, no doubt you will. Anyway, that's pretty much what's going on here right now. And uh, what he's talking about with parks, there are five different parks. And I think they should show up on the map. Yeah. Kitty Kingdom, Galactic Zone, Dry Rock Gulch, Nuka Cola Bottling Plant, and Safari Adventure. Each one is an area full of uh, stuff that needs to be cleaned out. And there's some more stuff down here as well, and even over there. And somewhere off here is the power plant that needs to be cleared and turned on to restore main power to this place. And it's all of that's going to take a while. There's a lot going on. There's going to be a lot of fighting through those various and sundry parks and so on and we'll be getting to that starting in the next episode next time more shooting less talk thanks for watching take it easy i am out of here